surprise, motherfucker. My last video was about PBS Kids, a brand that has become one of the most popular children's educational brands of all time. But, there's another children's TV brand that is even more popular than PBS Kids. Here's a hint. It's Nickelodeon Orange and Sky Blue. That's right, it's Nick Jr. Nick Jr. is basically the Toyota Corolla of children's educational television. It has become the gold standard for children's entertainment here in North America. By comparison, PBS Kids is more like a Honda Civic. In fact, I'm willing to bet that if you, for whatever reason, didn't watch PBS Kids during your formative years, then you did watch at least some Nick Jr. I certainly did, though half the time it was on video cassette and not TV. Most of the Nick Jr. shows I watched on television I watched via Noggin. Shows like Little Bear, Max and Ruby, The Backyardigans, The Wonder Pets, Little Bill, <coughs> Dory Explorer, Franklin, <coughs> Go Diego Go, Blue's Clues, Meow <coughs> Kylie, Oswald, and many more. And my family's aforementioned Nick Jr. VHS collection was huge. The majority of the video cassettes in it were Blue's Clues tapes, but there were a few Dora the Explorer tapes and even a Little Bear tape. So, we've looked at Noggin, we've discussed PBS Kids, and now it's time to talk about the history of Nick Jr. Educational programming was basically how Nickelodeon was founded. It started off as a children's variety show called Pinwheel in 1977. In 1979, Warner Cable purchased the network that Pinwheel was airing on and rebranded it to Nickelodeon. For many more years, Pinwheel aired on Nickelodeon along with other shows like Today's Special from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. as its preschooler-oriented programming. In 1987, more preschooler-oriented shows premiered on Nickelodeon like The Adventures of the Little Koala and David the Gnome. So, Nickelodeon thought it best to create a new brand for these shows. And so, on January 4th, 1988, Nick Jr. was officially launched. That's Jr. as in J-U-N-I-O-R, not the acronym J-R. That didn't come until later in 1988. Along with the slight name change, the now iconic orange and blue original Nick Jr. logo made its first appearance. This era featured artwork and animations done by Artichoke Productions, an animation company based in New York. On April 5th, 1993, on the same day the show Capellian Company premiered, Nick Jr. received a facelift which introduced the slogan, Grow, Learn, and Play, as well as the most well-known version of the Nick Jr. logo with the orange guy and blue guy holding hands. However, Nick Jr. was losing to TLC and PBS's PTV in ratings, so in 1994, Nick Jr. received yet another facelift. This one introduced Face, a cartoon face with eyes and mouth who would appear in between shows. He would do things like introduce shows, introduce characters from the shows, or do something like reciting the alphabet, getting his face painted, or telling jokes. The slogan, Play to Learn, was also introduced. On September 9th, 1996, one day after the premiere of Blue's Clues, Nick Jr. received yet another facelift, this time introducing more logos. In 1998, the slogan Just For Me was introduced, which was used in tandem with Play To Learn for the rest of their run. In the years that followed, shows like Franklin, Maisie, Kipper, and Little Bill first aired. In 2000, CBS began airing a block called Nick Jr. on CBS, to coincide with Nick on CBS. This programming block featured shows from Nick Jr. and aired every Saturday morning. In 2002, the block was discontinued. On September 3rd, 2003, Nick Jr. received, you guessed it, another rebrand. This time, it introduced many new logos and a new face, who looked and sounded radically different from the face from 1994. On October 11th, 2004, on the same day the Backyardigans premiered, Face was replaced by Piper Opossum, who probably gave many children nightmares. Piper Opossum here. Thanks for playing with me today. You're awesome, kid. I love to sing and I love to play. I love Nick Jr. every day.
Play! And the slogan, Love to Play. Also in 2004, Nick Jr. on CBS was revived, only to be discontinued again in 2006. In 2007, the Play With Us campaign launched, which featured stop-motion bumpers. On February 2nd, 2009, the original Nick Jr. block on Nickelodeon was discontinued and replaced with Nick Playdate. In March of that year, the Noggin channel was rebranded as Nick Jr. In 2012, Nick Playdate was rebranded as Simply Nick Jr. On May 21st, 2018, the Nick Jr. blog on Nickelodeon was rebranded as Nick Jr. on Nick. I would have mentioned more shows earlier, but there was really no efficient way for me to do so because of the constant rebrands. So, I will mention the shows here. <clears throat> In 1996, Little Bear premiered. In 1998, Maggie and the Ferocious Beast premiered. In 2000, Door the Explorer premiered. In 2001, Oswald premiered. In 2002, Max and Ruby and Lazy Town premiered. In 2004, Miss Spider's Sunny Patch Friends premiered. In 2005, Go Diego Go and Wonder Pets premiered. In 2007, Ni Hao Kai Lan premiered. In 2011, Bubble Guppies and the most disappointing Nick Jr. show ever, that is, Franklin and Friends premiered. In 2012, Peter Rabbit premiered. In 2013, Paw Patrol premiered, and in 2014, Blaze and the Monster Machines premiered. Unfortunately, Nick Jr. Today is just not that great. The majority of the shows just feel the same. They're all CGI and they have the same overall feel, and the shows that do stand out are mostly reruns of older shows. The only currently running show that stands out to me is Max and Ruby. Many of PBS Kids' shows really aren't that great but at least they are able to stand out from one another. But Nick Jr.'s offerings are, for the most part, cookie cutter. The Nick Jr. fandom isn't very prevalent, but it does exist. It sometimes goes hand in hand with the Noggin fandom. In addition, it produces way less weird content than certain other fandoms of the same type. <coughs> PBS Kids. So, if you like, why not get involved? There is also the Nick Jr. app and the Noggin app, although the latter you have to pay for monthly. However, the Noggin app has much of what the Nick Jr. app has and more. So, if you're okay with $7.99 a month, go check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.